Good afternoon, believers. Good afternoon. So, um, I guess I don't get to do whatever I want. I've noticed whenever I step away or try to step away, it doesn't work. So, um, because mostly because the Lord will continue to put things on my spirit. And it's not so much that I feel like I have to prove anything, but there's things that he brings to me. He's like, tell him about this, J.D. Nijah. So here I am. This one's about Nebuchadnezzar. It has a lot of different aspects to it. And I'm not going to, Heavenly Father, bless the message. We love you. We praise you. We honor you. Thank you. Amen. I'm not going to go into much else. I'm pretty much just at the service of the Lord. So I'm going to go through this. Hopefully you can understand what I'm trying to say here. And because it's not easy, it's not super easy to interpret. But the thing that I'm, I'm going to point out is that um, regeneration, I say it all the time. There's going to be seven turns. For some of us, it's seven turns. Bob Marley said, Nazi dread, Nazi dread. He walked up the first street, wandered down to second street, made his way to th third street, got a, met some fucking homeboy on fourth street, um, met up with, with his woman on fifth street, but he's got to reach seventh street. So seven turns, seven regenerations. And I was laying in my bed right now, and the Lord goes, do you remember Nebuchadnezzar? Remember he got turned into a beast? So the, the theme of this scripture, this Daniel, the breakdown is Nebuchadnezzar was ruling over all men and all people. Nebuchadnezzar had, he had, the, he had everything set. He was doing things beautifully. There was, there was, it was a Babylonian empire like you wouldn't believe. It was, it was the second coming of Nimrod or whatever the fuck it was. I don't know exactly what it was, but he had it. And it turns into a, into a thing where the Lord goes, you know what? I'm going to have to, this, this, this is too perfect. You guys are doing too good. Um, I don't, I don't get to, I don't get to judge like I want to. And Nebuchadnezzar, he was given everything. He was given, so when you think of given everything and everything being given, he had it down. He had, he had the power grid down. He had the food down. He had control of the people in a way that they were happy. He was happy. Everything was pretty much going his way. Not all the people were happy. I, don't, I wouldn't say that, but I mean, he had control of everything and to a certain extent, it wasn't bad. There was, I mean, even Daniel brought, got brought into that shit. So I'm going to read through this and then I'm going to stop and make points as we go. Um, this is Daniel 4. You can read it for yourself. Nebuchadnezzar, king unto all people, nations, and languages that dwelt in all the earth. Peace be multiplied unto you. I thought it good to show the signs and wonders that the high God has wrought towards me. So Daniel's saying, look, dude, I have something to show you that even though you're in control of everything, I'm actually the king of the magicians. I'm the king of prophecy. I am the man. So when you think of this verses, you can think of, if I'm telling you that the Lord gave me something and I keep bringing it to you and I'm not fucking with you and you keep seeing it, that's up to you to get it or not. I don't worry about it because I know how it's going to end. It's going to end in my favor. So you can either get with me or not. So that's that. And that's what Daniel's saying. He's like, hey, Nebuchadnezzar, let me show you what the fucking real deal is. How great are his signs and how mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is everlasting kingdom. And his dominion is from generation to generation. This is how it starts. 
The Lord is the Lord is in control. I'm one of his one of his ones that's going to bring forth signs and wonders from generation to generation. This is Daniel. We've gone into this before. He stands in his lot at the end of the days. The troubled vision. Then I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at rest in my house and flourishing in my palace. I saw a dream which made me afraid, and the thoughts upon my bed and the visions of my head troubled me. Therefore made I a decree, bringing all the wise men of Babylon before me, that they might make known unto me the interpretation of the dream. Then came the magicians, the astrologers, the Chaldeans, and the soothsayers, and I told the dream before them, but they did not make it known unto me the interpretation thereof. But at the last Daniel came before me, whose name was Belteshazzar, according to the name of my God, little g, and in whom is the spirit of the holy gods, little g. And before him I told the dream, saying, so this is Nebuchadnezzar putting the God of big G and mixing them in with the gods of the little g. And that's where a lot of you are probably looking at me going, eh, he's just a devil. He's just said, his gods are little g. Oh, Belteshazzar, master of the magicians. Master, he's a master. He is the chief of the musicians. Magicians. Let me continue. Because I know that the spirit of the holy gods, little g, is in thee, and no secret troubles you, tell me the vision of my dream that I have seen, and the interpretation thereof. Thus were the visions of mine head in the bed. I saw, and behold, a tree in the midst of the earth, and the height thereof was great. The tree grew and was strong, and the height thereof reached unto the heavens, and the sight thereof to the end of all the earth. So that's how you know that we're on a flat plane. Because if one tree grows up, how are you going to see it on the opposite side? Here's another, here's another proof that the earth is flat, Tahar, you dumb fucker. Fucking hate you, fucking... Oh, I'm not going to talk about globe earth or flat earth. That just doesn't matter. Yes, it does, nigga. Fucking Bible tells you. Fucking idiots. Fucking tired of this shit, man. Bunch of fucking retards out here. The leaves thereof were fair and the fruit thereof. What did it say? The sight thereof was to the end of all the earth. If, they, if we're on a globe, you, you wouldn't be able to see it on the other side. Dumb fucks. Man, the leaves thereof were fair. Sorry, believers. The leaves thereof uh, were fair and the fruit thereof much. And in it was meat for all. In other words, there was goodness for everyone. Under Nebuchadnezzar... The Lord made everything go poof, like what, like coal, bra, the kind, right? <sighs> the beasts of the field had shadow under it, and the fowls of the heaven dwelt in the bowels thereof, and all flesh was fed of it. It was going off, bra. It was the kind. I saw in the visions of my head upon my bed, and behold, a watcher and a holy one came down from heaven. What's that? A fallen angel. A watcher. One of the first fruits. One that has power. He cried aloud, his trumpet, he blew his trumpet and said thus, Hew down the tree and cut off the branches. Shake off his leaves and scatter his fruit. Let the beast get away from under it and the fowls from his branches. In other words, he's like, no. No. And so when you have this vision of all these trees that were cut down, they say there was these giant trees on the earth before we have all these little... These are all little saplings. There used to be like major size to shit. Shit was big. I think shit's big in Texas. Fucking it was big right here under Nebuchadnezzar. It was huge. Things were fucking cracking, bro. I cried aloud and thus said, Hew down the trees and cut off the branches, shake off his leaves and scatter the fruit, let the beast get away from under it and the fowls from its branches. Nevertheless, let the stump of its roots, leave the stump of the roots in the earth, even with a band of iron and brass in the tender grass of the field and let it be wet with the dew of heaven and let his portion be with the beasts in the grass of the earth. This is what his dream was about himself, but he didn't know that. Let his heart be changed from man's, and let a beast's heart be given unto him, and let seven times pass.
pass over him. In other words, you're not going to remember shit. You're going to keep coming back. You're going to be like a beast. You're going to be like we are right now. Basically, we're, he shrunk us down. Fucking me. He made us into these fucked up. The watcher went, nah, nah. Bink. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. You think you're going to have it the way you want? I'm God. Watch. I'm fucking with you. This matter is by the decree of the watchers. I'm telling you, people. I am one of those watchers. And the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomever he will, and setteth up over it the basest of men. So he took away Nebuchadnezzar and he said, I'm going to let Biden rule Trump. I'm going to let Putin, fucking Hitler, Stalin, Genghis Khan. He brought in all these fucking punk ass fucking pieces of shit after that. Napoleon, whoever. Get it? Good. The dream I, King Nebuchadnezzar, have seen. Now then, O Belteshazzar, declare the interpretation thereof. For as much as all the wise men of the kingdom are not able to make known unto me the interpretation, but you are able, for the spirit of the holy gods, little g, is in thee. He knew, he knew, he knew Daniel had it. Just like my roommate knows that I have it. I'm not I'm not here to fuck around anymore. It's like, you wonder why I'm fucking pissed. is because I've seen it. I know it. And you can't argue with me. And all these stupid asses out here saying this, that, Tahar, Gabar, fucking Pastor Dal, whoever. You're all a bunch of fucking losers. Fucking tired of being the only one. No one's even listening. Daniel's troubles, troubled thoughts. Then Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, was astonished for one hour and his thoughts troubled him. And the king spoke and said, Belteshazzar, let not the dream or the interpretation thereof trouble you. Belteshazzar answered and said, My lord, the dream to be the dream be to them that hate thee, and the interpretation thereof to thine enemies. In other words, you're not. It's for us to fucking look at and go, man, this is all about him getting fucked. The enemies are going, dude, we got you. We, we kicked you right out of your fucking little kingdom, didn't we? That's the watchers. That's us. We, we, we didn't like it. The Lord sent us down to, to fuck with them. Yeah, just like we're fucking with everyone now. The tree that thou sawest, which grew and was strong, whose height reached to heaven, and the sight thereof to all the earth. You can only see it if it's on a flat plain, people. Whose leaves were fair, and the fruit thereof much. And in it was meat for all, under the beasts of the field that dwelt, and upon the branches of the fowl of the heaven had their habitation. It is thou, O king that are grown and become strong for thy greatness is grown and reaches unto heaven and thy dominion is to the ends of the earth. Again, ends of the earth. Fucking globe tards out there, man. Don't listen to these globe tards, people. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to argue with you between globes and Tahar. You couldn't argue yourself out of a fucking paper bag. You old fucking piece of shit. Salak here, brothers. I'm, I, I, I don't know why I have to be this one, but I am. So deal with it. The seven years of illness. So what is it? Seven thousand years. The Earth is seven thousand years old. This is this is an interpretation of the beginning to the end. The fucking Garden of Eden. 7,000 years, it's going to fall over you seven times, seven days, seven years of illness. And whereas the king saw a watcher and a holy one coming down from heaven and saying, hew down the tree and destroy it, yet leave the stump and the roots. That's the house of David. 
is going to rise up out of the stump. That's Jesus Christ. He's like, the, we, we came and we fucked this shit all up so that Jesus could come and fucking save us. It's a, it was a story that the Lord fucking made. And, he, and the story's right here. You just have to know how to read it. In the stump of the root they're in, in the earth, even with a band of iron, right? He's going to come and rule with a band of iron and brash in the tender grass of the field and let it be wet with the dew of heaven and let his portion be with the beasts of the field till seven times pass over him. Who's Nebuchadnezzar? He's Adam. You had it pretty good, didn't you, Adam? Well, no, no, no. That's watchers. We, we made the story. We're fallen angels. Like Satan, you know? Like the fucking serpent. Why do you think I'm here? I don't want to be here fucking telling you the truth. I'm wicked. <laughs> I'm some kind of something. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I'm a pillar of some kind. Maybe it's not a good thing to be a pillar. I'm going to be holding up the house and everyone else is going to get to fucking go free. I'm going to be in the in a chain for fucking causing whatever trouble I caused. I don't know. Do you think it's think it's fun for me? I have to spit out all this stuff to let you know. Don't do it. This is the interpretation, O King, and this is the decree of the Most High, which has come upon the Lord thy King that they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field, and they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and they shall wet thee with the dew of heaven. That means it's going to rain on you. You're going you're gonna to be here under the sun. And seven times shall pass over thee, till you know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men, and give it to whomever he will. Just because I got it, doesn't mean I'm going to keep it. Just because I have it right now, do you think that means that it's going to be great for me forever? I'm just here to say this is what it is right now. Fucking know what's going on and it's fucking crazy. The seven times is almost up. He's coming back. And whereas they commanded to leave the stump of the tree of the roots, thy kingdom shall be sure unto thee. After that, thou shalt have known that the heavens do rule. Who's Nebuchadnezzar? He's the root of David. He's the branch. He's, Je he's fucking Adam. He's the first Adam. It's a story. It's a prophecy. It's a, it's a story being told over and over and over. Seven times it's been told. The seven churches are seven dispensations, more than likely. And whereas they commanded to leave the stump of the tree root, thy kingdom shall be sure unto thee. What's it say? Will come sure unto thee. Assured. Your kingdom will be assured unto thee. The stump, if the stump of David, the branch is going to shoot out of the stump. Come on, sir. Wherefore, O king, let my counsel be acceptable unto thee and break off thy sins by righteousness and thine iniquities by showing mercy to the poor, if it may be a lengthening of thy tranquility. Let me finish this. Do you understand what I'm saying, Jay Hall? We keep coming back. Man, I could tell you grew up with those guys. And this came upon the king Nebuchadnezzar. At the end of 12 months, he walked in the palace of the king um, of Babylon. And the king spoke and said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty? While the word was in his king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken. The kingdom is departed from thee. 
Oh, Adam. Sorry, bro. It's not going that way. <laughs> I get stressed out and I start fucking sneezing and my eyes start watering. It's fucked up, man. And they shall drive thee from men and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. That means you've lost your heavenly position. You are going to be as the fallen angels. Listen. They shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over thee. I've got to reach 7th Street. How many times does it say seven times will pass over you? About five. Do my messages follow? Was I just saying that a few days ago? I got to reach 7th Street, Bob Marley. Nazi dread, Nazi dread. 10,000 miles from home. It's a long way for Nazi to be from home. Listen to the song. It all ties together, people. And seven times shall pass over thee. Let's get what it says about seven times. Four, 32, so you can understand. Seasons, years. Do you understand? Seven times shall pass. Seven years. Seven seven thousand years. <laughs> Until thou know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men and give it, it to whoever he wants. It's his story. Not yours, Tahar. Goodbye, you fuckers. The same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar and he was driven from men and did eat grass like an ox and his body was wet with the dew of heaven till his hairs were grown out like eagles feathers and his nails like birds claws that's what I have in that picture that I can't fucking find it's like an eagle's head yeah I have to do this I'm gonna go fucking have a beer now fuck it Tired of playing games, man. This shit's getting fucking ridiculous. JD Najee, I'm out.